Hey, hello guys. This is hello. Uh, <clears throat> this is Adam Sam Radio. Uh, I happened to bump into uh, Brother Stairs Ministry, and uh, people think I'm crazy. They think uh, I ain't making any noise. Well, it sounds like this is a perfect opportunity to make a Halloween soundtrack off my shortwave radio. Let's take a listen. Oh, by the way, I got it hooked up to an external speaker which is one of these guys, they sound really well, really, really, really well. Okay, hang on, we'll uh, give it a listen. Anyways, guys, welcome back. Uh, that was uh, Brother Stair. I guess he passed away, and some new guy took over the ministry. And that's the ghouls and goblins. Uh, he heard. We, we just heard. This radio has been working really well. I've been running it for over a week, and uh, it's been doing well. And the meter, I got to get used to it. When it's down, it's full scale. And th this goes uh, up for the battery, this goes down for signal. It wavers around, you can see it, and it goes over and that's 10, so. Let's see what we got uh, on the on the frequencies here. It's about, I don't know about morning time here and here. Uh, let's see, what's, see what we have here.
Uh, a local, or not local, but we got some uh, AMers on the AM radio, uh, 80 meters, right around there, right, right now. kind of dropping and it's kind of noisy it's early a.m. in the morning so you're gonna get a little static and we're hearing right now is actually a ham station uh, some hams do use a.m. still and there's an a.m. broadcast of their station in there it's really hard to pick them up usually at night I pick them up all the time but now it's 
the signals are deteriorating in the early morning, I guess, on 80 meters. Well, this is kind of what I get. That's pretty much what I can get. This thing is pulling. I can see the damn meter. Yeah, it's uh, so much noise, it's actually flooding the meter. That's the 80 meter sideband on the handbands. That's why I hear the, the Mickey Mouse or uh, Tunnel of Duck noise. That is one gnarly sound. That's probably uh, uh, a plane beacon or something. There, I live not far from an airport. It's probably about uh, I want to say close to eight miles, eight and a half miles, well, you know, something like that. How far the uh, Melbourne Airport is, and this is, I think, it's one of the beacons or a radar sweep. Well, anyways, guys, that's the uh, the funnies of the noise of the ghouls and goblins in the morning. A little bit of short wave action. But the bands are starting to diminish a little bit, starting to waver. But uh, it's been a really good radio so far. Wish I had some more lighting. I could show you the meter. The meter works fine. Um, I should do more on about the AM, FM, or just AM mostly. And uh, the UHF. Maybe we can get a CB or in there. Who knows? But everything seems to work very, very well. So, uh, yeah, the screen's all nice and big, which I like. That thing is buried, I know, this is a strong signal. And the tone control is, uh, you know, for the tone, I got it right in the middle, and I got it set up to that speaker right there. Man, it sounds crisp. Really crisp. But anyways. Alright, well, this is, uh, the, the uh, realistic shortwave 100, uh, part 2, I guess you want to say. I'll do a little more videos on more shortwave stuff, too. I think, I, I think that's a little more relaxing. Anyways, 7-3 uh, to all, and I hope, uh, hope you enjoyed what I got for this content on this radio. Works really well. 
And of course I'm running the G5RV antenna to outside to the box and out. So uh, we'll say 7-3 for now and uh, you all have a good day. Stay safe and happy DXing. This is Adam's Ham Radio going QRT.